rising y'all great rising happy day welcome to another day <laughs> it is a beautiful day so i am still working on getting my journals published um it is a lot of back and forth with getting the covers together and everything so uh that's what i'm doing um like I said, my big focus is using these as a, a source of income for myself, as well as um, that income will help to fund the production of my cleanser. So that's really all I have going on. So it felt good to make my bed this morning always nice to have a freshly made bed I'm sure you will agree whatever type of liver you are uh, so I'm at the library right now and just waiting for them to open because I'm going to need to charge my power station and use my laptop in the meantime while I wait for the library to open uh, let me just wrap with y'all for a little bit I've been thinking lately and while I was sick and after getting better I've been thinking about uh, the fact that when I started mobile dwelling, I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a plan for years. Um, I'm just starting to create a plan. My only thought and my only plan per se was I wasn't renting and I had no intent, you know, that was my only plan. Like I'm going to find an, an alternative way to live without renting or without having to uh, have a mortgage that was it and at the same time I was I was more focused on how do I become an entrepreneur that was my greatest focus and it still is this is just how I've chosen to live but I didn't have a plan I didn't have a plan to say I'm gonna YouTube I, I, I did YouTube my journey Hotel Honda until you know uh it got stolen and i got really sick in 2018 but i didn't have a plan to or even a thought even a thought to put it on youtube with the intentions of possibly growing a youtube channel to monetization or anything My like that main focus since 2017 has been how do I go from being self-employed to being an actual entrepreneur, be business owner? How do I do that? Is that what's the transition? Because I don't want to just buy myself a job. That's that's not. I pretty much have been doing that since my 20s. I don't want to do that. I want to be a business owner. I want to own businesses. So that has been my only focus on figuring the thing that about out. me is when life gets challenging and when things start to get chaotic I'm all about order and um, you know structure so when things begin to get chaotic and start to roll completely out of my control I will remove myself and isolate and begin to you know go inward to calm the waters, to calm the seas and the winds, and so that I can get back out there and figure it out. And I don't have a problem with that. So things may take a lot longer for me um, than it does for most people. I'm okay with that because my journey is mine. Also why I say have a plan. If you are choosing to become a mobile dweller, a van life, whatever you want to call it, have a plan. Have a plan. Have a plan for how you're going to make your money. Have a plan for your exit strategy and your end game. Just have a plan because the days go by very fast and the years go by just as fast. And before you know it, you'll be years in and like, damn, what's my plan? 
So have a plan and stay faithful to executing that plan. Y'all, look, so somebody gifted me a toilet. <laughs> I'm so geeked. So let's go get this put together. All right, I got it. That is so exciting. I'm so I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative. So it's the same brand as the one I had, Trip Tips. But look, it's got a case. Mine didn't come with the case. The one I bought like three years ago. This one. So, it's also, um, I think it's plastic. I think it's a hard plastic. And it's expandable. Look at it. So, this is the one that I recommended. This is the company. It's the same brand. <gasps> And it comes with some bags. Mine didn't come with bags. Oh, this is so dope. So that's what it looks like. How dope. How dope. The lid is on it. Oh, so dope. Okay, and they they twist. Let me show you. So it looks like these twist into place. See? Yeah, so they twist in and out of place. That's really awesome. That's so awesome. I'm so appreciative, thankful, and grateful. Look at that. Oh, I love it. All right, so this is my old situation. Well, my new old situation <laughs> right there. And so I just looked at the instructions. Look at that. All right, so apparently the bottom here, all this space here, you step on it. And that makes it easy to twist down and up. And I think it was showing that's how you get a little not quite sure how to take the lid off I got it that's what I thought this was so there's a, a little snap right there and you just snap it bam that's perfect so perfect so put a couple of bags in here I don't think mine came with bags if I don't know I had it for three years up oh, one ripped all right, so I don't recommend these bags. Look at how thin they are. You can see my hand right through that. Yeah, don't recommend these at all. Um, I put the one in there, uh, but I usually put in um, two, maybe three. 
So I'll just pull another one of my trusty bags out and we'll be ready to go. Brand new, brand new, brand new. I don't know, that doesn't come off. But that's okay. And there we have it. My brand new toilet. I love it. I love it. Thank you so, 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 so much. You may not know this, but my toilet is my favorite, absolute favorite thing inside of Le Chateau. It was my favorite thing inside the mansion. It's my favorite thing in my home, my toilet, because my toilet makes it possible for me to be in here if I don't want to go anywhere or like when I'm sick or it just makes it home. My toilet makes it home for me and I love it. I love it. This is so sleek. It's so perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Now, I have a five-gallon bucket that I don't have space for. There's no lid for it, and I don't know what I'm going to so do. thankful. I'm, you know, I'm thankful and grateful to and for all of the people who follow my journey and who have been following my journey for a few years because it was... Um, a follower who's been with me for a couple of years who gifted me this and I just I just appreciate absolutely everyone and not even the tangible things but when I was sick all reading the comments that were sending me well wishes and the concerned comments and like stuff like that when you share your life on the internet with absolute strangers who feel comfortable to say whatever they want to you to judge you however they choose to to literally type some of the most awful mean things to you just because you put your life on social media to read caring comments to be sick and strangers show some type of concern that is priceless and I'm grateful and appreciative and thankful to every single one over the years who have followed my journey on social media so I'm really really appreciative and I don't I don't I don't know what else to say that's words can't really culminate how I feel about the kindness and the graciousness and the uh, generosity, again, not only with monetary things or tangible things, because as we know, we can get, we can earn more money, we can get more things, but the fact that people care and take time, which you cannot get back, to take time moments out of your life to comment something of concern for me a total stranger that's priceless that is absolutely priceless for me and I'm grateful to each and every one of you thank you so so much and thank you for my toilet <laughs>